Hey everyone, this is my video report of Mule Creek Canyon. Uh, coming up, you'll see Jaws on the right hand side. I like to put my nose just right towards it and push myself all the way through into the eddy that's created behind that rock pile that set, sets me up for the first hole. Uh, the speed on this is sped up to about one and a half times normal speed just because Mule Creek Canyon is so long. So after I come past first hole, I like to just pull off of this wall, uh, keeps myself into the current, um, and then it gives me tons of time to set up for the next move, uh, which is the second wall. Uh, my thing when I'm paddling Mule Creek Canyon, I don't really care if I push or pull a move. It's just whatever is my boat is best set up at that time. So. Right now I got my nose pointed towards that eddy and kind of driving towards it. And I'm just trying to hit that seam between the eddy and uh, the current. You'll see that I get a little deep into it. So all I do is correct with a little backstroke, pulls me right back into the current um, and then sets me up to push through this next move, which is till first hole. I could have just kept um, that reverse angle and pulled myself all the way through uh, would have uh, made no difference. So now I've sped it up to four times. This is kind of the narrows and one of the most beautiful sections of Mule Creek Canyon. No difficult moves. I uh, just really enjoy the scenery because there's, in my opinion, there's no other rapid in the state of Oregon uh, that is like Mule Creek Canyon. Now once we're getting to the end of Mule Creek Canyon, you'll see it kind of wind down and there'll be an eddy on the left hand side. Uh, you can grab that eddy. Um, it's coming up right past my boat right now on that left if you wanted to scout or if you needed to adjust boat spacing because uh, that's signaling that you're about to come into Coffee Pot. Coffee Pot is uh, the narrowest section um, and super high consequence if you come out of your boat. Uh, there's no reason for your boat to have an issue in here. Um, I'm tucking in my right oar, uh, just using my left because I know I'm coming right to the narrowest part right here. Ship both oars forward and right here on my left, I put my oar in and gets ripped by the current um, and started pushing me towards this bridge. The bridge is a place that I think a 16 foot boat, you could get wedged in there sideways. Um, but once I've got myself stuck up on the bridge, uh, I took my time, got my oars all ready, and then the current, I just let it start pulling me back over and it's gonna push me out of Mule Creek Canyon. Uh, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys out on the river.